I'm going to show you how I work a flat panel on the 22 pin so I can make Karopi's shirt. You can see how it's knitted this way and then placed horizontally onto his body. We'll start off with the 22 pin. Grab your Addy stopper, which your machine should have came with one. If you don't, I will link it. But it's basically this little black piece. Put it between 10 and 11. So you got to hook it around the front and just snap it on to there. So the stopper basically helps you remember where to stop. So it's automatically going to stop here when you put your machine on a panel mode. And it'll stop between the black and the white pin. And it'll go around and the stopper helps stop the machine here so you don't forget. I'll leave a couple inches in the middle and go ahead and cast on as you normally would. Now stop casting on when you get to the white pin. Feed the yarn feeder. But you're going to keep rolling around to past the black here. And then go ahead and start cranking the other way and it's going to come off of those machines. And the important part here, the reason we go so far this way is to make sure that the white yarn is underneath this red portion right here. This is our first row. This is now our second row. So go around and now we're going to go into our third row. See, this is the pin you want it to go past. And with this extra piece here, it's going to be a little long and I'm just going to pull that down so it doesn't get caught later. But right here is where we're looking at. That's three. See how it just went over the red part there? This is our third row. It's getting split a bit here when that happens. Just grab your tool and try to unsplit it. Get it back where it needs to go. That just sometimes happens. This yarn's crappy. It's going to go back around. This is four. I'm just going to yank on this a little bit. Make sure it sits down there. And here's five. So you're at the end of five. Just make sure this is down, seated well. Once you get to five, cut your yarn. You don't need it to be long. I like to just cut it right at the end there. Open up your yarn feeder, and you don't want it to be threaded along the black. Take it out from underneath this pin too, so that the extra yarn is right there. And then we're going to grab our red yarn, and we're going to go back the other way. This one. Just make sure this white yarn sits down on the pins here. And back the other way for two. Grab that red yarn. Bring it back there. There's two, three. Four. Next, grab your white yarn after you cut your red yarn. And take this off and just pull it off there. There's one and two. Let's grab that white yarn. Make sure it's not going to get stuck there. Two, three. Four and five. Red yarn now. All right, cut that. On here. One and five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do that five more times. And if you had to add in yarn like I did, I just tie it at the end there so it doesn't come undone. <laughs> 